good day to you sir. I'm Jessa Tunguna from BL3C and now I'm going to demonstrate the popular types in literature from the story entitled Goldilocks and the Three Bears, authored by Robert Sode. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time, there was a girl named Goldilocks goes for a walk in the forest. She came upon on a house and knocks on the door. When nobody's answered the door, she walks right in. She finds three bowls of porridge on the kitchen table. So, she tastes the first two bowls. One is too hot and the other is too cold. She tastes the third and it tastes just right. So, she eats it up. After eating the porridge, Goldilocks feels tired. So, she goes to the living room of the house and finds three chairs there. The first two chairs are too big for her, but the third one is just right for her. But as she sails into the chairs, it breaks. Then she moves on to the bedroom where she finds three beds. She finds one bed too hard and the other is too soft. The third bed is just right for her and so she lies down and falls asleep. Meanwhile, the family of the bears or the owner return home, seeing what has happened to her porridge, chairs, and seeing Goldilocks sleeping on their bed. They get angry. The little girl wakes up frightened when she sees and hears the bears. She jumps from the bed and runs away as fast as she can and never come back again. The theme from the Goldilocks and the Three Birds is always to consider how your action might affect others. And the moral of the Goldilocks and the Three Birds is the need to respect the privacy and the property of others and how your action hurt others. Because what Goldilocks does by entering the house of others without any permission is wrong. She doesn't think about how her action may hurt the owners of the house even for a moment. So, what she can do is she have waited for the owners if she really wanted to enter the house. That would be all. Thank you.